The James Webb Space Telescope has recently observed something out of the ordinary, an anomaly that could hint at the presence of intelligent life beyond Earth. If the evidence holds up under scrutiny, it may serve as the clearest indication yet that humanity is not alone in the universe. This discovery could represent the most compelling lead we've ever encountered in our search for extraterrestrial life. The question now is, what exactly did the James Webb Space Telescope uncover? And could it be the beginning of actual contact with an alien civilization? The unusual signal appears to be coming from Proxima b, an exoplanet that has sparked considerable interest since its discovery back in 2016. But what makes this planet so compelling, and why have astronomers kept such a close watch on it? For a starters, Proxima b is relatively nearby in cosmic terms, only about 4.24 light-years from Earth. More importantly, it lies within what's known as the habitable zone of its parent star, Proxima Centauri. This zone is the region around a star where conditions might allow liquid water to exist, which is a fundamental requirement for life as we know it. Despite these promising characteristics, Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which presents its own set of challenges. Red dwarfs are known for their volatile behavior, frequently unleashing intense solar flares. These bursts of radiation could strip a planet of its atmosphere and make it uninhabitable. While Proxima b seemed to have potential, many experts remained skeptical about its ability to support life. Even so, researchers continued to observe and study the planet, holding on to the possibility that it might yield critical insights. The deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope marked a turning point in this investigation. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb is designed to observe the universe through infrared wavelengths. This allows it to pick up on the faintest emissions from distant objects, including exoplanets like Proxima b. When scientists pointed the telescope toward this planet, they were hoping to analyze its atmosphere, surface conditions, and any possible biological markers. What they found instead was completely unexpected. The telescope detected a consistent faint glow coming from the dark side of Proxima b. Unlike natural phenomena such as volcanic activity or auroras, this glow was steady and uniform, more in line with the type of artificial lighting seen in cities on Earth at night. The discovery has left researchers stunned. Could this be evidence of a technologically advanced civilization? It's too early to say with certainty, but the possibility is difficult to dismiss. Artificial light is one of the few indicators we might associate with intelligent life. If what we're seeing is indeed artificial illumination, we could be witnessing the first tangible sign of extraterrestrial intelligence. The implications are profound. If these lights are generated by some form of technology, it would suggest the existence or past existence of an advanced civilization on Proxima b. This wouldn't be a minor discovery like finding microbial life. It would represent a leap to encountering a species capable of manipulating its environment and possibly constructing city-like settlements. According to the data, the illuminated areas seem to span a significant portion of the planet, suggesting either a large metropolis or a network of smaller organized communities. This hints at societal structure and purposeful development, not random or isolated light sources. This raises further questions. How are these lights powered? Are they using a form of electricity similar to ours, drawn from natural sources like solar, wind, or perhaps even fossil fuels? Or have they harnessed a form of energy beyond our current understanding? Given that Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which is cooler and dimmer than our sun, the inhabitants might have had to develop innovative energy solutions. Studying this could even help us solve some of our own energy problems on Earth. But there's another, more sobering possibility. What if the lights we're seeing are remnants of a civilization that no longer exists? Perhaps they fell victim to internal conflict, drastic environmental change, or even a cosmic catastrophe. On the other hand, if this society is still active, it opens up the possibility of contact between our species and theirs. That scenario presents a host of ethical and strategic considerations. Should we reach out? History teaches us that encounters between different civilizations can lead to either peaceful cooperation or devastating conflict. If we attempt to initiate contact, how should we proceed? The ramifications of such a decision are enormous, 
and deeply complex. Beyond the question of contact lies another critical aspect, our understanding of habitability. For decades, scientists have viewed red dwarf systems as unlikely hosts for life due to the frequent solar flares that can erode planetary atmospheres. But if intelligent life is managing to thrive around Proxima Centauri, it challenges those assumptions in a big way. Red dwarfs make up the majority of stars in our galaxy. If life can exist on planets orbiting them, then the number of potentially habitable worlds could be far greater than previously imagined. Places once dismissed as inhospitable might actually deserve renewed attention. So what happens now? How does this discovery change the direction of our space exploration efforts? Because Proxima b is relatively close to us, just 4.24 light years away, it becomes an increasingly attractive target for future missions. While that distance is still daunting by human standards, it's practically next door on a cosmic scale. There's growing interest in developing faster spacecraft that could carry probes or even crewed missions to nearby star systems. With this new finding, the incentive to invest in those technologies has never been greater. This development could reshape our strategy in the search for alien life. Until now, efforts like those by the SETI Institute have primarily focused on detecting radio signals or other transmissions. But the potential discovery of artificial lighting suggests we may need to broaden our approach. Instead of just listening for signals, we might also look for visual signs of technological development, city lights, massive structures, or changes to planetary landscapes. Imagine if other planets showed similar indicators. It could mark the two beginning of a new era in our pursuit of extraterrestrial intelligence. Unsurprisingly, this revelation has captured the public's imagination more than most recent space-related news. The very idea that a civilization might exist just a few light years away and that we might actually be seeing the glow of their cities is both exhilarating and deeply humbling. People around the world are eagerly waiting for updates, watching the James Webb Space Telescope's every move with growing anticipation. Beyond the scientific excitement lies a deeper philosophical challenge. The potential confirmation of an alien civilization forces us to reconsider our place in the cosmos. For so long, we've believed ourselves to be the pinnacle of evolution, the only known intelligent beings in existence. If that belief is shattered, how will it affect the way we see ourselves, our responsibilities and the technologies we create? The psychological and cultural impacts could be as significant as the scientific ones. And then, of course, there are the potential threats. If intelligent life exists nearby, we must consider how to protect ourselves. What kind of preparations would we need to make? How do we plan for an encounter that could be either friendly or hostile? These are no longer purely hypothetical questions. They're part of a very real discussion that humanity must begin to have. The universe may be about to feel much less lonely, whether we're witnessing the remnants of a lost civilization or the flickering lights of one still thriving, we stand on the edge of a monumental discovery, one that could forever change the course of human history.